Having generated multiple six figures with Instagram, I've become a master at how to get clients using the platform. And it's not through hashtags and it's not through joining engagement groups or using Linktree in your bio. Instead, I kind of have a three part process for you to start getting more clients using Instagram that I'm gonna share with you in this video right here. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is make sure that you look Credible. So when someone comes onto your profile, if they are a potential client for you, you want them to look at you and think, wow, where has this person been my whole entire life? So there are a few different things that you can do to make that happen. The first saying that I like to use is value over vanity. If you go onto somebody's page and it's just a bunch of selfies and the caption is like, what are you up to today, hun? then people aren't necessarily going to connect with that and really see you as a credible authority figure. Instead, you wanna be posting value content like this and you want to be making it clear that you actually have something to offer. So in your Instagram bio, if you look at how mine looks, you can see that I have something called an impact statement. This is basically where you wanna be saying who you help. In fact, I have an impact statement generator that you can get access to by just clicking the first link in the description box below. It's totally free, no payment info required, and it's quite fun as well. It takes you through a series of a few questions so you can figure out what your impact statement is gonna be. And then from there, there's a few basics. Have a decent photo that emulates what you do. Make sure that you have a link in your bio that actually makes sense and that there's a call to action pointing down to what that link is. But more on that in a minute, because my second point for how to get clients on Instagram is getting DM conversations going. Now, there's actually four ways that you can do this. And the reason why I see this to be so important for getting clients and making money using Instagram is because of the fact that people are much less likely to click a link in your bio or to swipe up on an Instagram story. Instead, you can have a super casual conversation in the DMs whereby you're asking them questions and when you position those questions properly, what actually ends up happening is the person that you're speaking to, even if you've just reached out to them for the first time, then what ends up happening is they start to convince themselves that they need your help. So you don't even have to do any spammy or sleazy salesy stuff. Instead, it's just having a really casual conversation and that's how to get things going. That's kind of all about copywriting, not the legal type, but the marketing type. So I actually created a free course on that. Go to laurensfreecourse.com or just click the second link in the description box. You can get that. Wow, I'm giving you all the freebies today. But anyway, so the first of my four ways of doing this is making the most of Instagram stories in a strategic way. So what we advise to our clients is to have a different theme each day of the week so that you kind of commit to showing up and know, oh, it's Tuesday, which means it's my tips day. So on your stories, make sure that you're sharing value and then encouraging people to DM you one particular word. In fact, that brings me on to my second way of four to make the most of getting people into the DMs, which is whereby what you're gonna do is at the end of your post, speak about one specific topic, and then at the end say, DM me mm, if you want to. Mm. So basically just get them to DM you one specific word. In fact, the third way of doing that is in the Instagram bio. So like you saw earlier, here is how mine is currently looking. Again, I change it quite often just to make sure that I'm testing things all the time. And you can see here that I have people DM me the word online. And while I have a bigger following on Instagram, we still get about five people per day doing that, which is 150 people a month. So even if you just had five people doing that for you per month, imagine how much more opportunity that opens up to you. It's like, you might as well do it because why not? It's just another way to drive people into the DMs to start having these conversations. And actually, this video right here, I spoke all about how to have these conversations and how to do the next point, which is my point number four, which is reaching out to people. So you can reach out to 50 people per day. And when you do this consistently, it is so incredibly powerful. But that video that I just mentioned, that talks about it in more depth. I'll leave a link to a few more videos that are gonna be of massive use to you following this video that I'm talking about right here. So anyway, then my third way of getting clients 
from Instagram is actually going to be kind of not what you think and it's taking them off Instagram. So you can use Instagram to initiate the initial conversation but then from there what you're going to want to do is get them on a phone call. You may find that there are some people who aren't quite ready for a call so for those people get them off Instagram as well because you know they may just forget about you or they may end up losing their Instagram account they might not be able to find you again so if you get them off Instagram by having them download a freebie that's gonna be so powerful but please don't create a PDF or something like that in this video right here I speak all about the best type of freebie because the best one to make is a free course and it is not complicated at all so you're gonna want to do that and then you can send them the link to have them sign up to that or you can just say hey I'd love to make you an account for this course that I have if you'd be interested just drop me your email and I would love to make you an enrollment now how much more powerfully does that position you than just like hey yeah do you want my free checklist like that's not really that powerful so you may be wondering well why should I be booking calls rather than just selling in the Instagram DM and while selling in the DMs can be cool and it's definitely something that I have done in the past the reason why I don't really do it anymore is because there's gonna be a much higher refund request rate so if you were to tell a plumber like hey my drains are broken and I need them fixed and they just come to your house and just rip them all out without looking at anything beforehand then that might not actually have been the best way to get the help and so the same thing goes with you and your clients if you just start pitching them all this stuff in the DMs then firstly they're gonna feel the sales pressure so they're probably just gonna ghost you which is maybe why you're getting ghosted right now secondly what's gonna end up happening is that you might sign a client that you don't actually like right if you don't have a conversation with them beforehand how do you know that you're gonna work with them well and then thirdly they may invest in it quickly in the DMs but then they might realize that oh they don't actually like you and so so it's a much better decision to make sure that you get on the phone and in order to do that I really recommend using acuity scheduling because then you don't have to go back and forth and back and forth to find a time and you can attach an intake form to your entire process right so I've left a link below because that gets you one month free trial it's usually just for our clients but keep it between us okay but with that said you can attach questions to ask them before the call and in order to make sure that it's worth your time getting on that call. And then while people are spending time filling out the application, they're actually selling themselves more on why they need to invest with you and your coaching, consulting, whatever it is that you have to offer. Because if you just go ahead and just have them hop on a call randomly, then you never know what's gonna happen. But look, that's me getting way into, you know, advanced stuff if you want to know more about what we do at impact school you can go to impact-school.com forward slash method that page will explain more and it will explain how we have our clients do homework videos and how we've helped so many people scale to six figures and beyond and i'm just grateful that we get to serve our clients every single day but with that said i do just want to say remember you don't own instagram instagram is cool but at the end of the day it's a means to an end you're using it as one of your marketing functions. If it's your only way to get clients, then that's very, very risky. You wanna make sure that you diversify. So I did an entire video on how to use LinkedIn. And then I'm also gonna be making more content about how to leverage a podcast because I have a pretty large podcast called Impact Schools Podcast where I post a bunch of content. But anyways, if this has been helpful, make sure to hit that subscribe and make sure to get those free resources because I have no doubt that they're gonna be of high, high value to you. So thank you so much for watching. My name is Lauren Tickner and we help people scale online businesses, primarily in the service-based space. So if you're an agency owner, if you're a coach, if you're a trainer, if you're a therapist, then I know that those free resources are gonna be really, really useful to you. And if you want further help on how to actually make this happen and to see the whole DM process in action, then send me a DM saying came from YouTube and then I will know exactly what you're talking about. All right, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.